Get, get that. What is happening? The light. I lost it. Oh my gosh. What is it? Is it hooked onto something? What is happening? Stupid. Get off. Uh, oh my. Cool. That was great. Mm. Welcome back to the channel, Star Wars Daddy, with another unboxing from CAS. This is the two-part. These items that I'm going to be showing you today are the ones that are going to be staying in my collection. There are some heaters in this um, group of figures that are going to be going right up in here, all throughout here. And I have been waiting a long time for these. Obviously, if you've seen my videos, you know there was a mishap where I thought I was getting these a couple weeks ago. They ended up getting delayed. Panic went into me. I started reaching out to Chris from Five Idiots Talking Toys, asking him what I'm supposed to do. Um, was there insurance uh, on these items in case they get lost? A whole bunch of nightmares that were going through my brain and keeping me up at night. But we got the box. Um, it did come a day late, but we got it last week. It was supposed to come on Friday. We got it on Saturday. The video for the part one of the items that are up for sale that have already probably sold on eBay, those ones have, uh, that video is already up. And now this is going to be the part two. So you can see the things that I'm going to put in my collection. Um, because I haven't done a big collection review, this is a great way for you to start to see the bits and pieces of things that are in my collection. As we get to a point to where I'm going to do a big collection review at some point down the road, maybe in the next four, four to six months, as I get more and more items in from CAS that will fill all the gaps that are all over the place from the items that I've already sent in. Again, I appreciate all the support. Uh, the amount of subscribers is going to show up right here uh, as of the making of this video. I appreciate it so much. Thanks for all the support, the likes, the comments on this video. If you could, for free, doesn't cost you anything to help support me by liking, subscribing, leave a couple comments, hit the bell notification too if you want to be notified of upcoming videos as I post them. I try to get two videos out per week, one of them which is my eBay sales that happen every single Sunday. Um, the links are down below for my eBay if you want to go check out the items I have for sale. And I make a uh, kind of a documentary video of that to show what prices we're at and what happens in my life when it comes to eBay. And then I try to put another video up every single week, something Star Wars related that's in my life. If these, these unboxings, uh, I did a Thundercat review of my Thundercats. I've got a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle video coming of what's in my collection. Uh, reviews on anything that has to do with Star Wars. I've got some of those as well. So any, go ahead and check those videos out. I really appreciate it. Uh, I've also got lots of bloopers. Bloopers and outbursts and me losing my mind. And I try to put those in every single video. Doesn't always happen, but for the most part, there are some videos where I even cut out some of the bloopers because there's so many of them. But I try to keep things as entertaining as I possibly can when some of this item or some of this... See, now here, there's a perfect example. Here's me, I can't say what I want to say and I sound like an idiot. That'll be a blooper. But besides that, I try to do what I can to make these videos entertaining when some of this content for a lot of people can be kind of stale and boring. Lee, my buddy Lee, he says these are boring videos. So I'm trying to add a little bit of humor and entertainment to uh, the Star Wars world. Anyways, enough talking. I appreciate it. Let's get into all of these items. All right, let's get these things knocked out. Uh, no, 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 no. We're not going to get them knocked out. I'm going to take them out of the poly bags. Okay, I took all the poly bags off of these figures so we can see them more clearly. And let's dive in. We'll start off with some of the just more common figures and move our way up to the heaters. We have got a Gonk Power Droid Long V and got an 80 plus. I just sold off another one of these. 
um, that was at an 80, so this is an upgrade, uh, but excellent condition for him. I've got a Rebel Commander, and this is a graded 85, but this is the No COO, and I just sold one of these a few weeks ago because I knew this one was coming, and this one was, again, an upgrade. And no COO is going to be a common theme here, I think, with a lot of these figures. So we got a four loam. And again, so 90 plus on this four loam. Incredible. A 93.6 overall. And this is the no, nope, this is the Hong Kong COO. 90 plus. I've got only in my collection right now, I've got the mail away four loam with the box and the inserts and all that stuff. And so this is going to be my first one by itself, but 90 plus had to keep it with that overall grade. In last week's video, you saw that I had a, um, I sold a Riyis, which the Taiwan version, and I think it was an 85, uh, an AFA one, and I got a 90 here. So 90 on this one I sent in. This figure is incredible. I mean, near perfect. And it was an overall 90.3. I got a Chief Sherpa. And I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, four Chief Sherpas already in my collection. And the reason why probably is just because they're kind of inexpensive figures. So it's it's not that hard to get different variants of the COOs and whatnot. This is an 85. It's the no COO, which I have a no COO already. But this is the raised bar version. And I hope we can see it on here. But right, right there, right there. Oh, there we go. It's in focus right here. This little bump is a raised bar, no COO version of this figure. And the first time probably I already, I ever saw that version of the figure, I got it. I looked at it. I was like, what is this? So I went on to Variant Villain to check it out and made sure I had all the correct accessories for this version, sent it in, 85. And so that'll go in my collection. I'll have five uh, Chief Sherpas now that are all different. A General Maydeen, and this is your Taiwan with the green hair. 80 plus, yep, Taiwan, flesh mold, green hair version. And look at the paint. Usually there's a lot of paint rub that's that happens here on the back of the legs, but he's in excellent condition. Um, I sold my, ver I did a, um, a Taiwan version, but it wasn't the green hair. And I sold him maybe a couple months ago because uh, I knew this one was coming back. All right, Stormtrooper right here. It's your just your regular uh, Hong Kong COO, 85. Uh, maybe a little bit of, yeah, there's some discoloration from the, the limbs to the body. Uh, but beyond that, this figure is in excellent condition. The paint is awesome. Um, no paint rubs. A lot of times you get these um, these black marks on the side of the leg where the, where the arm rubs back and forth. There was none of that on this figure. Uh, and that'll go up in my collection. I'm looking right now. This will be my fourth Stormtrooper, all different uh, COOs and variants that I have. All right. You saw last week I had on the ones for sale. I had one without the Smile Lando, and this is an 85, but this is a no COO. So I have, let's see, this is my fourth Lando. Yeah, fourth Lando in the collection. And I think this is my first no COO. I have a PVP that's a no COO, but that's a scarred COO. This is a just your regular no COO version. And so this will go up there in that collection. But he's in great condition. Here's another no COO, Leia Bespin, 80. And a turtleneck version. Take a look at her. She's incredible. This will be the first um, loose graded one that's in my collection. I have one that I purchased through Rogue Five Toys, which is Five Idiot Stocking Toys, with Chris. And Chris sent a so I purchased a Little Letty complete Bespin um, Leia with the a loose card back from the the Little Letty. I don't know if it was the negative uh, backing, which is the black um, the back on the card back. But he sent it off to CAS, um, so we are waiting for that one to get um, custom graded and sent back. 
but this one will look nice right alongside of it. I have um, a couple, I have a PVP Walrus Man, and I think a regular Hong Kong version over in my collection, but they're both pink tusks. And this one is a white tusk. And last week I had a pink one that went up for sale as well. Um, this one's an 80 grade. So I'm keeping this one because it's got the white tusks. And you know what? It doesn't even label that. Yeah, it doesn't even label that it's a white tusk. It just says it's a walrus man. Interesting. That's the first that I'm realizing it didn't even label them as pink or white tusks. Um, but yeah, it's obviously it's a white tusk version. And so putting that in the collection... I sold off a Death Star droid a few months ago because I had sent this one in, and it had the it was the exact same one. It was a CAS eighty, and that's what this one is. So this one just replaces the one that I sold, and that one helped me recoup some of my costs. This figure is in great condition, nice uh, chrome all over him. The black paint is perfect on the eyes and the shoulder. There's a, just a little bit of rubbing here on this shoulder. It's probably hard to see in this video, but there's a little bit of rub there, and that's about it. Uh, let's go into Princess Leia. Here is Princess Leia, and last week I had a Hong Kong uh, that sold, or not, yeah, it's, it sold, and it was an uh, 80 grade, I believe, CAS, and here is a no COO Princess Leia graded 85. But I do not tend to get very many no COO Leias in. I it's almost always Hong Kongs that come through. Occasionally there's a Taiwan, but um, once I got this one and in the condition it was in, I knew that I had to send this one off for grading and to keep this one in my collection. All right, we've got a baggy. It is just your normal uh, C-3PO with removable limbs. Baggy, um, and it got a 90 grade. And so I've been on a kind of a binge right now of collecting baggies. I've got a bunch of baggies that I'm probably gonna make a video of sending off to CAS while they've got their 10% off um, right now. And I've collected a bunch of baggies I'm gonna be sending, but this figure is an amazing condition and you know to get a baggie at a 90 that's that's pretty tough to do awesome let's go into boba fett so last week you saw i had an 85 cas boba fett the dark green chest and here's the exact same one same grade 86.9 that seems to be the grade always and um he is an awesome condition so i sold one and i kept one because the only one that I have in my collection right now that's a Boba Fett is that's graded, uh, that's a vintage Kenner, is the Little Letty. All right, let's go into some Yodas. All right, so here we go. This Yoda here is your apple head with the orange snake, and it has the Pac-Man eyes. Um, this was on a, it was on a transition card. I think it was the last transition card before they went to the Return of the Jedis. Um, someone can correct me on that, but I believe that's what it was. And it's got an 85, but it's the dark green, which is the Applehead. They would not label it Applehead, even though that's what this one is. Uh, they refused to do it. They said they can only label it dark green. So I didn't fight with them too long. I just gave up and accepted it. But I know what it is. And this is going with my Yoda collection, which I've got one, two, three, four, five Yodas already. This will make number six. And number seven in the Yodas is right here. And this is just your normal brown snake, um, brown Pac-Man eyes Yoda, 85. I didn't have one in my collection yet that was just this normal Kenner version with the Hong Kong COO. Um, see, so the snake kind of looks weird, doesn't he? The tail's going that way and the head's going that way. I'm not sure how they got that to happen, but this is number seven. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven Yodas now in my collection. We'll do a um, focused collection um, video on my Yodas also at some point. And we will be doing a, a focused collection on my Bosk loose graded figures as well because we just got the mail away Bosk baggie sent back to me. It's a grade 80. This is your SWA baggie. This is that mail away one that came in the box. And um, you send them those proof of purchases to get it. 
And there's a couple little marks here on the back. Right in here, you can see those, but that's about it. And I, I had all the paperwork for the mail away box. I just didn't have the box. And I hunted for the box uh, for, it's kind of weird. I want to say Bosk, but I'm just trying to say box. So I hunted for the box and uh, just to no avail. I couldn't find anybody that would just sell me the box. They wanted to sell, sell me the, you know, the whole figure and everything. And so I just gave up and just sent in the baggie and got it graded. But this will go with the four other Bosks that I have that are incredible. My Bosk collection is probably... Um, the most scarce of my collection as far as the overall figures and their variants um, compared to any other um, figure that I have. I'm looking right now at my collection. Um, there's maybe a couple that are competing, but uh, the Bosque one has to be the best. So we'll go over that Bosque one here um, probably the next month or so. I'm going to do a focused video on that. Here's another baggie. Your no COO Emperor, and it's this one actually. I had the box and I had the um, the inserts. I've got a couple with CAS right now that are being great. I think I've got an Anakin mail away, and I think I might have one or two more of these that are coming, and those will be up for sale. But look at this grade ninety, um, that's awesome. And this is your ESB C baggy, is what this one is considered. But this one's awesome. And I sold I sold mine. That's why I'm keeping this one. I sold mine to recoup some costs a while back. And this one will be replacing the one that I sold. And here is the final one. This one is a heater. I sold my Little Letty Bespin Luke maybe a couple months ago because I, this one was on its way. And here he is. And um, the grade, 85 plus it is so hard to get that for a Little Letty figure in general, on any Little Letty figure. They seem to be worn out. They're harder to get, but 85 plus, this figure is in amazing condition. And again, this is your figure out of Mexico, the Little Letty factory with Little Letty parts, Little Letty accessories, 85 plus. This is absolutely awesome, and I can't wait to get it up there. I've got three other best men, Luke's, uh, but this one by far is the best set of all of them. Okay, guys, that's it. Those are the items I got back from CAS and that giant unboxing of 46 uh, figures, a two-part video. Um, if you didn't watch the first one, links are down below. Go check that one out. I'd really appreciate it. Um, we got more videos coming. I'm going to do some of those focused uh, collection videos. I've got a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle of all graded items that I will be doing here soon, just like the Thundercat video. And if you haven't seen that one, I'll have a link down below as well. Uh, then I'm going to do some kind of isolated uh, Star Wars ones where I'm going to do the Bosque video of my to show the items I have there. Um, the Yo I'll do a Yoda one because I think I'm at the end of the ones I have at CAS that are coming back. And I've got some um, other videos as well coming. Some more unboxings that will be happening. I've got some reviews that will be taking place. Um, more of the weekly eBay uh, videos as well. I really appreciate all the support. Please like, subscribe, comment, ways to help the analytics, to help me and this channel. I really appreciate it. Until next time, who is your daddy? Oh no. Oh, God. oh, great. That'll be a great video.